Summer is almost over and school is right around the corner. We're wanting to get you prepared for the year to come with this IGTV tutorial that's a school edition. So we're gonna learn how to create an eye-catching about me infographic just like this one and we're gonna start with a remixable template. So let's get started. When it comes to infographics, there's several approaches that you can have, whether it's data-driven, a resume style infographic, a process infographic, but we're gonna focus on a list style infographic. This is great for whenever you start the new school year and your teacher asks you to fill an about me infographic, well, you can get a head start and create one on your own using Adobe Spark Post. So we're starting with a remixable template. And what I want to do is we're gonna go onto the layout tab and we're gonna adjust the spacing. We're gonna slide the border so that we decrease the size of the cells. And then we're gonna go in and adjust it slightly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on one of the cells and you can just drag it to the very far right. This will help you create a nice different visual flow that captivates more attention. Next, we're gonna just readjust some of the other sizes of the cells and then go into the middle cells so that these cells look like they're around the same size. Now that we have our basic restructure done, we're gonna go in and add our own copy. One of the things that we wanna do is tap on the very top left cell and you can use one of the suggested colors so that it picks up the background color. The reason why I'm telling you to do this is because we can create a really nice fun effect with that Texas popping up like I showed you from the original design. So now we're gonna add some of the copy and I'm just gonna duplicate one of these headlines, the helping hands, and I'm gonna paste my own copy. Johnny Swift, yes, he has a very unique spelling to his name. And I'm gonna adjust this so that this is actually a vertical type. This helps capture more attention and it allows us to make the type really large. And now I'm gonna go in and add a Texas sized icon. So I'm gonna tap on the add symbol then tap add icon and I'm gonna search for Texas because Johnny here attends a Texas high school. So now that we have this beautiful icon, I'm gonna make it nice and large. So what I wanna do now is I'm just gonna tap on the eyedropper tool so I can grab this nice beautiful color. I'm gonna tap on done. Then I'm gonna tap on edit, duplicate. And now I wanna bring the order to the back. I'm gonna adjust the color. I'm gonna do the same process where I use the eyedropper. And now I can create this nice little shadow effect. So this is a great way to create depth and even attention within your infographics. To make it easier for me to edit, I cleared out some of the text fields and I started to create some structure. Having these nice arrow icons that I put across the infographic helps guide your viewer across your design. So it's a great little strategy that you can implement. Make sure it's subtle and doesn't take up too much of the visual space. So I start adding some of the fun things that Johnny Swift likes to do. So he's in varsity basketball. And then I start implementing the same strategy I did with the double icon so that it looks like there's a cutout effect and you create that depth. So I've added some more copy, but right now it's really hard to read with the white on that yellow background. So I'm just gonna use the eyedropper tool to pull from the background color. Now that the type is darker, it's so much easier to read and I can literally just edit, duplicate it and add the next line of copy that I want with some of the fun things that Johnny loves to do. Now that we have this nice little fun icon, it's telling your teacher that you love music and our favorite music genres. Now we can just duplicate some of this content, makes it so much easier instead of us having to rewrite it. And we can just make it short and we can say favorite band. And then for consistency purposes, just select one of the other type fields that you have, tap on duplicate, there you go, you have it. Now you can just add your favorite band and guess what his favorite band is, 21 Pilots. So we are gonna go in and adjust this here within this infographic and make these last finishing touches. So now we have our final design. We added the last touch where he wanted to go to school. He wants to go to University of Houston and study graphic design. That may or may not be where I went to school for, you may not be going back to school, but you can definitely use this as a way to create a fun and creative about me infographic. And hey community, we wanna see your sparks that you're creating. So don't forget to use hashtag Adobe Sparks so that we can see what you are creating. This is Nikte Cuevas of Nikte Creative Design. Until next week.